I am going to be editing, basically, I'm going to be editing a episode of my podcast. I have, uh, it's the one, not this week, but next week. I have all the interview part edited. So I took out the ums and ahs, uh, arranged the questions and everything so that it sounds fluid. But now I have to do the thing where I'm uh, putting in the music, the intro, that sort of thing. So this is how I arrange after I've already edited the interview itself and it's ready to go. I've got my, right here I'm using Ardour. It's a free and open source multi-channel digital audio workstation. It's a lot to say. It's this is where I edit the audio. I mean, I didn't come up with what they're called. They're, that's just what they're called. It's just that they're apparently a lot. So, uh, Brett, what I have right here is this is the the interview that's going out in two weeks. It's with Jenny Gao, uh, artist here in town. I've got the segments and the top one here. If I make this taller, let's see height. So make that taller. What I've got here, you see the little breaks in between. I got to split those up. Those are where I have different interviews and I can look and see if it needs some narration to go into the next part or not. But for the most part, I'm going to split these up first. The beginning is, so I do just S for split. The beginning is where I have the artist say their name and what it is they do. And then another segment over here, split that up. So I'm just going to make these, split these up so I can move them around and stuff. And then we're going to listen to some of them. As I scroll through, there's another break right there. This one seems short, so I may join that with the next one. That happens sometimes. Like sometimes I think that a segment is over. Or maybe it's a small little snippet where it needs an introduction. I don't know yet. There's that. Is that another break there? It is, I think. Let's listen. has been growing ever since. Yes, it is a break. I just didn't leave a lot of room for it there. So I'm going to split that as well. Oop, I have my grid lock on. Don't need that. I need it to be able to move freely. Okay. So there's that. There's another break right there. Split that. Using the S key. And let me just make sure that I have the right window open. I do. Good. Just wanted to make sure you could actually see what I was doing. All right. So back to... So there we go. All right, and that's the end. So now if I view the whole thing, I have my segments split up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably going to end up putting the commercial break right there, but we'll get to that in a minute. All right, and then on this second row here, let me put this back to normal size, and then I've already imported all of my music tracks that I use. So these are the different segments of music that I use throughout. Got those. I think that's the intro one. I can move these around. So that's the music that I'm going to use that I have set up for all this. And I've already imported my intro where I say I'm Tom Ray. Tom Ray. Oops. I went way over there. That's where I meant to go. So we're going to line that up with, move this up here, line that up with the music and then the intro. So this is how the whole thing begins. At the, I've got my part here that goes, I'm Tom Ray, and this is my art podcast. That's where the music comes in. So let's get the music. I believe I need the, there we go, intro music. Zoom in, scroll down. I love that you can see me looking or look at me while I'm doing this because I probably make tons of faces while I'm doing this. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to look back and see. All right. So now it's going to go. Podcast. Oops, that's muted. Why was that muted? Podcast. I always forget. I cut that a little early. So now it goes. I'm Tom Ray. And this is my art podcast. So now I wait a few seconds while that comes in. And then right around here is where I have, oh shoot, I didn't import the 
person I get to meet today. Did not import that. All right. I wanted to import it, but I didn't. So what I'm going to do is, on my phone, on this episode of the podcast, I get the chance to meet. So I recorded that on there. Save it. And then I'm going to upload it to Google Docs so I can download it on my computer. Save to Google Drive. Anyway, I'm going to my Google Drive so I can download that file that I just recorded on my phone for the on this episode of the podcast intro that I need right before the person talks. And that is when my computer decided to be slow. What? You'd think I was you'd think I was live streaming a bunch of stuff and working on audio editing all at the same time and my computer isn't fast enough? Mm. Now the problem with putting the, doing the the uh, audio on my phone is that it records it at a different not bit rate, but a different rate. So if I try to put it into the audio editor and it's at a different rate, my voice comes out like a chipmunk. So I have to open up another editor to reset what the the audio rate is. I am going to just, I'm going to move on. I'm going to switch back to this now. Now here's the part where Jenny says her name. I am going to set up a volume, deduct the volume. There we go. Drag that down. I usually drag it down to about minus 17.9. And then now I'll be able to drag this over and be like this. My name is Jenny Gao. I am an artist and entrepreneur. I've been running my business full-time for the last five years now, and my focus is on large-scale projects, including murals, public artworks, and curatorial work. So I got that, and now I need to do the guitar cue that goes into the intro, which is this one right here. So right when she gets done, that's when I take a good spot on the timeline for this track, which by the way, I use at the end, so I'm gonna to need to duplicate that. So I have that track selected. I hold down control and then drag it and it creates a duplicate version of that track and I can move it over here to save later because I'm about to make this one shorter. There we go. So where's the end of her? And curatorial work. So if I zoom in, I can see that there's a beat right there. And let's see if that works. Works and curatorial work. Yeah, I'd like it closer. Let's do it right on that one. Works and curatorial work. All right, I got a couple of those guitar cues in there so I can shorten it like that and then have it fade out on the end so it sounds better. All right, let's try that one. And curatorial work. All right, now I can drag the interview over. These are all too high now. Let me switch the height of these. I like to be able to see them all. Oh, there we go. Drag this over to that. And curatorial work. I grew up in Kansas, finished my studies in St. Louis at Washington University, and then from St. Louis. All right, so we got that first segment. Now let's move over to the next segment. I have my in-between segment parts here. Let's find the right one. I think it's, no, I think it's this one. Make sure I got the right thing. Nope, that's keys, bass. Of course, it's the last one. Select these and move them out of the way. It's right where the end of our conversation happens. It goes. My corporate job five years ago and start my business and try and pursue the arts full time. So that's where that break happens. I'm going to do a fade out and then I want the fade out to actually be 
fast and then also extend quite a bit so I switched it to the curvature to be bent like that instead of just a straight shot. Straight shot. It is weird to try and think and talk out loud while I'm doing this. And... I know. I'll talk smart when I do this. <laughs> And Mary Joy's making fun of me over there on the other side of the camera because she's sitting right there and she's mean. My Just kidding. corporate job. All right, let's see what this segment go going from one to the other is like. Try and pursue the arts full time. What were you doing artistically? I mean, you were you were involved in all these processes and helping other people, but you were clearly doing artwork before that. So, what sort of things were you doing during this time? Different things at, at different times. You know, I, I did study the. That one's fine. I'm going to move these other extra tracks out of the way for now until I need them. I hit save compulsively because I'm always afraid that something's going to happen. So, all right. So I selected that in between music track. I select it and then you hold down control. And when I drag it, that's how I'm able to create a copy. So I just dragged it over here so I have another one. Now let's listen to this segment and see, because there's a short one right after it. Now what I usually do when I have these, I either decide if it needs to be cut, because this means I'm pointing at my screen like you can see it. Nobody can see my, me pointing at my screen. So anyway, what I'm doing is pointing there. Ooh, I wonder, hold on, let me see if I can use the, the window that I have open. There we go, all right, no wait, okay. So usually, this is funny, hold on. I, I think this is far neater than everybody else does. There we go. All right, switch back to being able to see. Okay, so this little segment right here, there we go. Sometimes what that is is that's like maybe five minutes later in the conversation. So I had this one right here, and we moved on, or I said something stupid like I usually do or whatever, and I cut that part out. and. Then, like a few minutes later, then here's like something else where it was probably more relevant. So I edited that in, but clearly it happened again right after it because that segment's only like two minutes long. This this segment right here is only like two minutes long. So now I'm going to see if it be if it can be connected to this segment or if it can lead into this or if it's even relevant whatsoever. Because sometimes I'm just editing the ums and ahs out of the conversation because it helps it flow better. So let's listen. Really great like mural opportunity. Here's a chance for exposure. And you've got young emerging artists who are excited to just get into the field. And they're willing to do it for cheap. A lot of times less than it costs to paint the wall one color, which is insane when you think of that. Yeah. You know? They're not even making enough money to stay in the city that they help to gentrify. And there's not nearly enough conversation on how we address that okay. so she's talking about that now what do we go into next i feel all these years i've been misinterpreting the the phrase starving artist i think that the phrase means that you have to find oh yeah i wonder if that i'm wondering if that can go with that conversation or go with the next one let's see how the next one starts when did you, when did you decide to then start going into business for yourself so you've had all commercials in front of murals and uh, had fashion shoots in front of murals. Ah, that'll work. Actually, that'll work really well into the next Without segment. Without crediting the person who created it. Yeah, because then not crediting the person who created it, and then she talks about, or I ask her about going into business for herself. So I think that'll actually work pretty good. So let me butt these up together so that they sound like one segment. Sorry, I'm going to lean in now so I can look closer. It. All right, so let's. The key is to make it go from one to the other. So drag those so they overlap. The person who created it. When did you decide to then start going into business for yourselves? There you go. Love it. That worked out great. And now, so I can drag them together, I'm going to select these two sections. Hit edit. I don't know if you can see these menus, but I right clicked. And there's edit and combine, so I can combine the tracks, and now they are one track. 
so I can move them around and not have to worry about them getting disconnected. So I can move that to fit in with the music transition that happens there. And let's hear how it all goes down. Not nearly enough conversation on how we address that. I feel all these years I've been misinterpreting the, the phrase starving artist. Wow, good. All right, that worked out great. And now this is the part where I add in the commercial break because I have mid-roll ads that actually, a sponsor that requests mid-roll ads. Well, Anchor. If you've been listening to the show, it's pretty much Anchor. So I'm going to have the lead out music that's going to overlap underneath to let you know if something's coming up. Oops, I grabbed the wrong one. I'm going to use the one that's the drum and bass because I think that fits the mood better. Keeps it going because it's an exciting conversation that we're having and I don't want to use the somber music that I have normally. Making enough money to stay in the city that they helped to gentrify. Oh, forgot to change the volume on that. So back to here, change the volume, bring it down to, I'll do 18.8. Making enough money to stay in the city that they helped to gentrify. And there's not nearly enough conversation on how we address that. All right, I need to duplicate that because it's not long enough. And then I'm going to be adding in a segment that goes more of the show after this break. And then it's going to fade down. So I'll be recording that one on my phone too to say more of the show after this break. And I'm going to turn the grid back on. I have it set to seconds because for audio, I have to make sure that the break happens in seconds. I can't just put it willy-nilly. So there it is. Hit tab, set a mark, and then I'm going to write break. And that's where I'm going to split the audio when I export it. So I'm going to actually have two audio files. So when I upload them, there'll be two, and then I can stick the ad in the interface in the middle of it because it's a interface that actually is like a drag and drop one. Now, Coming out of the break, I need that guitar spike. That is the signature of the show starting again. So I'm going to cop I copied that from the intro music. And it's right there. So now it's going to go like this. Oh, turn off grid again. It's going chunk chunk. Chomp chomp. Bump bump. Now let's listen to what the break is like. So it will go. Can you think of that? Yeah. You know, they're not even making enough money to stay in the city that they helped to gentrify. And there's not nearly enough conversation on how we address that. And then I'll go more of the show after this break. And it'll record that and then it'll slowly fade out. And then there will be the commercial. And then come back in. I feel all these years I've been misinterpreting the, the phrase starving artist. I, I think. All right. So then towards the end, it will have the closing segment, and it will go like this. Who they're hiring and how that impacts the statistic, especially as the city gentrifies. <laughs> Outro. Then the music goes down, and I'll go. If you'd like to hear more about Jenny Gao, you can visit her website at jenny.com, which I'm still amazed that she has that website. I would have totally thought that it was taken. But anyway, uh, and then music for this podcast is by my band Lorenzo's Music. If you'd like to see, if you'd like to learn more, go to. I always forget this part. If you haven't subscribed to the podcast, go to Spotify or wherever else you get your podcasts. My website is tomrayswebsite.com and 
all kinds of stuff like that. And then it will end with the final spike on the end when I finally realize how long that segment's gonna be. And that is, and then I export it as two parts. So I go to the break that's here. I set up two range markers. So the first one will be new range. I create that and it will be part one, rename. And then I drag that, oh, I have to turn the grid back on. Drag that marker to where the break is there. And then of course, to the beginning, where'd that go, there we go. And then I select the area range markers over there, new range, rename, do that as part two, and then drag this right there next to the end of the first one. And then, oh yeah, this is where the end segment would be. End of that one, and I'd line those up. I'm not, I still have to add in my narration, so I'm not being as perfect with this as I would. But then I would right click on it and then do export range and it would export the left section, the left, I forget which way, up, which way I'm pointing. And then it would export the right section, which is part two. I would take those, upload them to Anchor. Now, the one other thing that I have is I need to create a video card for this. Uh, oh, this is for the segment that's going up next week, but it's for Carly Ide. She's an artist in Green Bay. So I took one of the pictures from her site and then in Google Keep, you can actually set it up, you click on the image, and then there's a little icon there so that I can draw. And that's how I do those little drawing words on there. So I'll draw it using the inking stuff here. I go to Canva, which is a freemium. It's more free than freemium. You get a lot more interesting things that you may not need if you're just an individual. I don't need these headphones on anymore. So I have a template that I created here for, like this is last week's show with Martel. That's the template that I use for Tom Ray's art podcast. And I can, I tap on that. I wish I'd had this set up better. I'm gonna do it this way. Tap on that and then I'm gonna go to my gallery and find that image that I just did of Carly. Hold on. So there's the image of her, <laughs> select that. And now that's inside there. It needs to be moved over a little because it's cropped. There you go. Hit check. I don't know if anybody can see this. But now I have that. And there's my video card for next week. And I have these set up as a template. And then when I get done uh, editing the, one that I, the interview that I was just working on with Jenny Gao, I will make one for that as well using one of her pieces of art from her website. And then that's what I use to put on the site. I think that's all I got for now. All right, that's all I got. I'm going to stop now. Thank you.